So there's this, uh, I guess, either app or site where single people are going on and they're meeting each other. But the interesting part is that you may be sharing a partner. And it's not like swapping. It's not like that, right? It's not like, uh, you know, people that are like freaks like the, you know, some of the things that we've talked about in the last like month and a half on the show. No, not at all. Um, so I went on uh, like a little girl date last night. We I have a mutual friend who was like, hey, my friend Molly's going to be in town. She doesn't know anyone in, De- in Detroit. Do you guys want to, I'll give her your number. You should get dinner or something. So I had a little girl date with a new friend uh, and she lives in Chicago and she's my age. She's also single. She's doing like the dating thing, the dating app thing. And we talked about dating for like two hours at dinner last night. It was so funny. Um, and she was telling me about, it's actually a Facebook group. It's private, so you have to get added to it. Like, someone has to add you to it. But it's just girls that are using dating apps, so, like, Bumble and Hinge mainly. Mm -hmm. And there's, like, 2,000 girls in this group, and it's called Are We Sharing a Boyfriend Chicago? And basically, it's... I, oh my god! I could have scrolled through no for way. four and a half hours. It's basically a group where girls screenshot guys' dating profiles and say, "Hey, I'm going on a third date with this guy tonight. He seems cool. Is anyone dating him? Like, is oh, this anyone's boyfriend? This is genius. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah. So it's like this so, this check to say like, "Hey, before I actually get interested in this guy, does he already have a girlfriend? Or people will say like, I'm going out with this guy tonight. What's so it's case? like a, a background check type thing mm-hmm. to see what this guy's all about. So Preparing smart. notes. I know. To me, it's so like, um, it's almost like getting set up in a way, you know, when you have like the verification when you get yeah. set up of your friend saying like, no, he's a really nice guy. Like girls will go on, post the guy they're going on a date with and be, and literally just say like, has anyone gone out with this guy? What's the tea? Like, give me the red so, flags. Tell me what's going on. Or and is anybody will, going out with him right now? And girls will comment and be like, I went out with him once. Wasn't a love connection, but he's a nice guy. You should definitely go. Like, people and, will, like, hype these other girls up, too. And, and they actually share the guy's info so they know specifically that it's the guy. It's all screenshots from their dating profiles. Okay. So it's like, if you're on Hinge, they'll screenshot his whatever. So your friend is in this group. Uh-huh. Um, did you go through and read some of the, oh my God, the, the more interesting ones? What would you find? Entertainment factor of this group. My favorite one was, there were a few where it was just like, what's this guy's deal? What's this guy's deal? And they would be like, eh, he was really creepy or he was so full of himself, but he like was a nice guy. So it's worth going on a date. But there was one guy, a girl had posted a screenshot of his hinge and the first message he sent to her, which was, Again, this is in Chicago. So he was like, hey, I have extra tickets to a Bulls game this weekend. Do you want to go? And she posted this screenshot. And 30 other girls said, I got that same message from him this week. Stop. 30 other girls. Word for word. Exact same message. And then it got into all these girls like talking to each other and being like, how funny would it be if we all got tickets to this game? One of us has to say yes. (laughs) Like, let's coordinate one person to say yes to this guy. The rest of us are going to buy tickets for the game. You tell us where we're sitting and or where you're sitting, and we're all going to come over and say hi. Like all oh, of us, we're going to like bombard. This is so good. Are like, we? Sh- oh, I, I are, thought you invited me to the game. Are we sharing a boyfriend, Chicago? Uh, somebody just texted in and says that their sister is part of this group. I was. I want to go. Oh my <laughs> yeah. god. I was wondering if we have it in Detroit, and I want to be added. If there is one for Detroit, yeah, same, same, there same, is same, one here. There is. It's called Sis. Is this your man? Oh. And it's also on Facebook. Can so yeah. you please add Ellen and <laughs> please immediately. The t- oh my god, the drama. The girls okay. like hyping oh each other gosh. up. So qu- question: What uh, for the listeners that uh, that are in the you know these type of uh, Facebook groups? Will you call us up and tell us what you found out about some of the people that you were about to go on a date with? You got to uh, put the, the guys that you go on dates with. I know. In there, I want to be in this group. I want to be able to screenshot dating profiles and say like hey what's the tea like anyone else dating him what do what do i need to be worried about is he cool like because girls really will go in there almost as just like a check of like hey i'm not gonna get murdered right like this guy has anyone been out with him is he okay should i go so i I have to ask this question are are uh people that lazy men that lazy guys that they use the same line on every girl are you really asking that question honestly because yes i am asking that question well, think about, okay, so let's do, remember the last time I made you do a POV? Do you remember what that is? No, what is a POV? Point of view, okay? So oh, you're putting yourself okay. in the point of view. You're a 29-year-old guy. Yeah. And you are on these apps where you're swiping, and there's essentially an endless number of girls. Like, yeah. there are hundreds and hundreds of girls you can swipe on. 
So in a day, you hold could on, get. Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm still. I'm trying okay, to get, get it into, into the headspace. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Okay. Right. What do you cool, want? Your, be cool over there. What do you want your name to be in this scenario? Are you Tom? Uh, no, I, I want to be Thad. Okay, so Thad is on oh, dating I, apps. Thad's yes. a smoke. Thad's so hot. So yeah. every girl he ma- he swipes on, he matches with. So every day, you're getting 10, 15, 20 matches. Are you going to take the time to craft a specific message to all 20 girls? Or are you going to copy-paste, play the numbers game, see who responds? Thad, by the way, I just want you to know this. Thad is a very creative guy. Douchebag. Yeah, come on. He is. <laughs> he Thad would actually go and do different ones for each person. No way. Mm-mm. I'm Thad. I'm telling you. Douchebag. Yes. These guys just troll. It's a numbers game, like Ellen said. They're just Douchebag. messaging the same thing to 80 girls to try and see if they can catch one or two. And like honestly, most of the time, if you're if you use the same opening line all the time, like if it's a cheesy pickup line that's funny and will make a girl laugh, I don't care if you use the same one on everyone. Like it really is a numbers game. But if you're inviting 30 different girls to one Bulls game, like, bro. <laughs> what if they? What if multiple people say yes? What do I, you do? That's why they were all like, someone say yes. Let's coordinate this. The rest of us will also just go.